Hello everyone and welcome back to Prestige Reef. Uh, if you saw my last video, no, I'm not just wearing exactly the same clothes as I wore before. Um, this is just the second half of that video because that video was too long. So um, I suppose we might as well just get straight back into it. One thing I should probably point out now is that there are going to be uh, a certain level of continuity issues. Uh, and that is because this video has been filmed over two different days. So as you can see now, my beard is currently a few days longer than it was about, you know, 15 seconds ago. Uh, and then later in the video, when I'm doing the fragging, it's going to be shorter again. So that's one of the things. And the other thing is uh, the corals in the trays have either moved around or are completely new. So because um, I've got some new corals, I thought I'll give you a, uh, a quick look now. Because uh, I've got quite an impressive order. Quite an impressive order this week. Um, and then I'll, uh, I'll get on with the rest of the video. Right now, as you'll see, there's two species which I significantly stocked up on this week. So one of them being Euphilia. So obviously I've got the, the orange frog spawns. Uh, I've got some gold hammers and rose gold hammers. And uh, some splatter frog spawns. And then uh, the torches are the other things. So I've got lots of sort of different variations of green. I have these really strange... I've never seen these before. These are sort of like, uh, they're like orange colored. Uh, and then I have one very, very special piece, which is this gold torch coral. Now in the last video, you might remember that in this place I had uh, a New York Nix and I had uh, a Hellfire. Uh, both of those, I don't know if this is a secret, both of those went to Reef Dork. Uh, if it was a secret, I'm sorry. Uh, and now I'm trying to tempt him with uh with this one which is the uh the reason it's in this video um they're not the cheapest coral they got they cost me quite a lot of money um i if i'm honest i'm not even sure who will pay that sort of money for for this coral because i certainly wouldn't if i'm honest uh not not for myself but if it's for selling it to someone else then i i like to get some of the nicer stuff in and then this is the dragon soul which uh in the last video, it wasn't on the website because um, it needs to be fragged. I've now got two heads of dragon cell here and then a single head at the back. The other species of coral which I got, uh, I got a ton more trachophilia. So I don't know if, um, if you remember when there was a toilet paper shortage and everyone rushed out and, uh, and bought as much toilet paper as they could. Well, after I found out that trachophilias were going to become much harder to uh, get hold of in the UK, and after last week they all sold out in about half an hour, uh, I picked up another 28 of them. These, yeah, these will be on the website by the time this video goes up, but uh, you can see they're, 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 they're pretty special. Um, when they close up, they're reasonably small, but, um, so when you're, when, if you receive one of them, you'll think they're quite small, but because they've got, they've got quite small um, like bases to them, but when uh, when they open up, you can see that they're actually sort of standard size that you get into in the shop. But uh, but yeah, as I said, I, d I don't know when I'm going to be able to. The supplier does have a couple more of these, so if these go well, I might get some more next week. Um, but I don't know when I'm going to be able to get these sorts of these sorts of sort of very very high end trachophilia again. I love this one. You see this one with the uh, sort of like the the glittery stripes on it. Oh, actually, this one's got even more glittery stripes, this one, here. And then this one's sort of like literally half and half. It, it, it's almost like that's two different trachophilia which were grafted together. But you can see that these certainly aren't the average, uh, they're certainly not the average trachophilia you come across, which are obviously mostly green. Speaking of things uh, being sold out on the website, uh, there has been a very, very significant update on the website this week which will give people a much better user experience. Um, now previously, if a coral was sold out, it wasn't automatically removed from the website. Whereas um, I have now worked out how to do that. So as soon as a coral is gone, it will be removed, which means you, every coral you see on the website is should, in theory, providing I've done uh, um, my job properly, um, <laughs> every coral you see is in stock. So there's no more frustration where you see something that you want and then you can't buy it because it's out of stock. So, um, if, so if, you see, if you see some of the track affiliates you like here and they're not on the website anymore, that's because someone bought them, I'm afraid. Second biggest complaint I get is that people see sort of special, specific corals, say for example that gold torch or one of these unique track affiliates, and they missed their chance to get it or they were, they were, they were late to the notification. So someone else got it before they did. 
Now, there is one way to, uh, to get notified in advance. Now, everyone that supports the channel on Patreon, uh, they get notified before everyone else. Now, it's only a dollar, which is like literally, I think, 70p or something. Uh, and obviously, you help support the channel. But it basically ensures that you're in like a premium, uh, a premium group of people that uh, get access to the corals first. Now, as I said, you, sometimes it's only a couple of hours. I'm going to try to extend that so it's at least 24 hours. I can't promise that, uh, but I will try my best um, so that you, all the people that, as I said, all the people that support me, I can give something back to them, basically. So if you're one of those people that keeps missing out on getting the corals you want, 70p will get you onto the list first. Right, now I've already promised twice to start the video and uh, obviously I still haven't. So um, this time, I am actually going to start it, and I'm going to start by fragging the Witch Hunter Montipora. Right, so fingers crossed this will just come off easily, but I have a feeling that it probably won't. So I'll move some of this crazy tea first, because that is... No. Oh. Oh, look at this. It is attached to a frag plug. That big piece is attached to a frag plug because... There you go. Look. Who wants a piece of crazy tea with a, uh, a hitchhiker? So, <laughs> well, what do we need to get this out of here? And I'll, I'll just break the, uh, put this down here, and then I'll just, there you go. There you go, so whoever's lucky enough to get this crazy tea will probably get a little piece of witch hunter with it. Right now, as you can see, I have two containers. Uh, one is for the mother colonies, and one is for where the frags go once they're done. Um, each of them, usually I do this before, but each of them will have, so this one just has like a couple of drops. This is iodine, so iodine basically prevents infection. So, so the bath that goes in just for a couple of minutes, only a couple of drops, and then the end bath has quite a lot more in it. Uh, and that is because obviously there's much higher chance of infection. You want it to be sort of like tea coloured, you probably won't be able to see it with the camera uh, because of the orange filter. Uh, but it's, you can see the difference obviously between this one and this one. So uh, now this is a type of Montipora paloenthus. Uh, some of them I find are easy to frag and some of them are very difficult to frag. So the crazy tea and this is easy to frag and survives. Uh, and the uh, Dragon Rider is a absolute pain in the butt. Now, before I start cutting, I like to get every single frag plug ready. So just a little bit of glue on each, on each plug. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Ryan, in the last video, or which will now be the second last video, you told us that you were getting rid of the small plugs and you were only going to use the bigger plugs. That is for growing coral out, mainly. Uh, and it's for the faster growers. Uh, plus, I can't just throw away all these plugs because I've got about, I don't know, 5,000 of them just lying around. So, eventually I will stop buying these all together. But um, for now, plus these, are, these aren't for growing out. These are going to be the, the sizes of the pieces which actually go. So. so, yeah. But the reason I do this is because it gets every single piece ready uh, so that I can literally just place them on once I'm done. Now it's almost impossible to frag one-handed, so I'll show you a very, you know, quick um, me fragging it uh, one-handed, and then I will do the rest myself. And because um, I want it, I want it to be neat and nice for people. So anyway, I'll uh, I'll show you now. Right, the process with Montepore is pretty simple because they basically most of them will survive pretty much anything. So literally just safety goggles on. Where are they? Where are my safety goggles? I do have another set, but these ones will do for safety goggles on. And, uh, and then... The key is to let the saw do the work. Right now, as you can see, what I do is I cut into slivers. Uh, I constantly keep putting it back in this iodine dip. Uh, just to, as I said, just to try my best to have the highest survival rate. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll just keep cutting this. So I'll probably cut it there. That's about frag size. That's about frag size. That's about frag size. So I'll get a good few pieces out of this. 
Um, and I say I know there's quite a few people that want it, so um, it's uh, it's overdue. It's frag session. And then, as you can see, this is the uh, final result. So some of the larger frags will go be shipped first, uh, and then I've done like a couple of small little ones like this for me, which obviously will grow out. They won't obviously all sell overnight, which is why I have to do them at varying sizes. Um, and quite often I get asked what, what glue I use. I use Ecotex Coral Glue, and the iodine I use is uh, Tropic Marins. Right, now the next Monte on the cutting board is this uh, Grafted Montipora. Uh, I've got several different types of Grafted Montipora. So this is the dark green uh, and red. There is the, uh, the brighter green and red there, and then I think you saw in the last video, uh, the mean streak which is um, uh, purple and red so what I'm going to do with this piece is I'm going to frag around the edge so that each frag has a, a stripe of red and green as you can see here uh, and then I will probably cut this red section off and I'll cut out the middle green section here and um, and then I'll, I'll take frags of the red bit and frags of the green bit and I'll stick them and then they'll as they grow they'll fuse together so um, I, I try to create the most interesting frags I can rather than just sort of sending like a little tiny sliver of green so this piece hasn't grown out particularly well because as you can see it's mostly red with a little sort of tiny tiny bit of the uh, the recessive green in it it's interesting because some of them grow mostly green with less red and some of them grow mostly red with less green and um, and they could be exactly the same type, and they and they and they'll, they'll do this. I, I don't, I'm not sure what causes one card to be dominant in some one, some frags, and one card to be dominant in other frags. Um, but uh, all I do is I get the each of the two different frags, and then and then put stick them together. And then once they're fused, I'll sell them. You can always tell when there's a piece which I like uh, more than other pieces because they get to uh, a much larger size than they probably should. Um, it's just I just love the uh, the growth and the color pattern on this, and uh, I'll be honest with you, I was thinking about um, keeping it for myself and growing out and then putting in uh, the uh, a display tank somewhere, but um, I can always do it. I can always I just dropped my glasses. <laughs> oh, oh well, um, I, I can I've lost my train of thought. I can um, I can always do it again basically, um, and obviously this piece will go to uh, lots of other people to enjoy. Right now, this is what I meant by I was going to cut a, uh, a ring around the edge uh, for a better pattern. Because if you look at this piece here, it's sort of red and green, which is nothing wrong with red and green, although there is a little bit of green on the, end, on the edge. Um, having frags which look like this are, um, are, far, uh, are far more interesting, and hopefully people will be able to regrow out uh, in exactly the same pattern it was done before. And as you can see, this is the end result which I personally think are frags which are slightly more interesting than the uh, most of the Grafted Montipora frags I see. Uh, I genuinely try to produce very high quality corals. Um, in the end I didn't cut this up, I've kept it like this because then in theory, if you look see where it's got red and green, in theory that should continue to grow out in, in those stripes, which means I can obviously then do it again, so I, I didn't uh, mutilate it as much as I had planned originally. But, but yeah, as I was saying, I know you can buy corals from elsewhere, so I'd try and do what I can to make them um, a, little bit more, a little bit more interesting for you. And then, yeah, it's pretty much exactly the same process again, but again with the, uh, the mean streak this time. This one doesn't have quite the same defined pattern. You can see it's just starting to grow out in streaks there, so I'll probably leave that bit. Um, but I'm sure I'll be able to uh, get some nice frags there. So I've also got a much, much bigger piece in the, uh, in the tank below of this. So uh, this, is, this is the small, easy piece to show you, um, whereas the bigger pieces are quite a lot bigger. And through the power of editing, you can see that the, uh, the main strings are all done. They're not as uniform. I've missed, there's, there's one bit that's got, or a couple of bits that's got no purple in it, but uh, it was much more difficult to see on the saw because once you take coral out of the, uh, the water, you can't see the markings as well. But, uh, but yeah, they're not, they're not too bad. So I just need to let these heal for a little bit now. Right, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Please feel free to comment below if you have any questions. If you did enjoy it, why not click that like and subscribe button. And uh, I just want to say a massive thank you to, again, to everyone on the sports channel on Patreon because it does actually genuinely make a big difference. So, um, so yeah. Um, I, will, uh, I will see you next week.